And we are live. I am Adam. This is Open Late. It's been a while. Uh, I feel like I haven't done one of these in a minute. Uh, I've been, you know, doing other stuff. It's summertime. School's done. Kids are uh, running around in the yard till much later in the evening. Uh, being that I am on the West Coast, it's not even that late for me. Uh, so I guess I could do these even later. I uh, would have zero people watching, which wouldn't be the end of the world. I mean, it just, this is me sort of documenting me opening my toys. Um, I'm pretty excited to open these. Uh, I, you know, I've talked about how much I've anticipated these for, for quite a while. Uh, Wicket came in a while ago. I just got Paplu this week. I was waiting on, uh, on Paplu to, to, to open them both at the same time. Because opening one is fun, opening two is way more fun, um, and I'm really excited about these. I'm not even a big Black Series guy, but I do love Ewoks. Uh, I am unapologetically a huge fan of Return of the Jedi. It is my favorite Star Wars, uh, you know, movie or 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 sort of you know, thing that we have. Uh, Return of the Jedi was my introduction to Star Wars and it will always, I, I, I believe it will always be my favorite for that very reason. Uh, I am in a very, very small minority who actually loves the Ewoks. Um, and I, I genuinely don't see why there's so much uh, angst and resentment towards, you know, the Ewoks. I, I think they're maybe not what people will expect it. Uh, they're not what people sort of thought Star Wars was going to be by the third movie. You know, they wanted more space knights and pirates and stuff like that. And instead they got um, what at the time seemed kind of like teddy bears. Uh, you know, you didn't get as much backstory about the Ewoks as we sort of have now that they're, you know, pretty aggressive <laughs> little murder bears. Uh, that, you know, are, are pretty good at what they do. Uh, you know, they're, they're, they didn't get all those random helmets in the Ewok village by accident. Uh, you know, think about Princess Leia, you know, in the Ewok village. I don't think they fabricated the, the clothing on the spot. Uh, so I think there's probably some former inhabitants of those clothes, uh, but anyway, moving on from that, uh, just very quickly going to say hello. Uh, what's going on, Sam? Rock, Master Versal Toy Hunter is hanging out. Hello, 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 Eldor. Uh, and Nolan is here as well. He says, hi, Adam, Sam, Eldor. Yes, indeed. Um, I know there's a ton of other good streams going on right now, so I'm, I'm, I'm not... Uh, I wasn't trying to sort of, you know, steal anybody's viewers or anything like that. So I posted this very much last minute um, because I also know that, you know, the Ewoks aren't a big draw. Um, I also just realized that I'm so out of, I'm so out of tune that I forgot to change my banner. Um, but without any further ado, uh, let's get into these guys. Uh, so these are the Star Wars black series return of the jedi kind of vintage inspired cards uh they're fairly big cards but they're relatively sturdy i mean it's definitely better than the gi joe classified retro cards they have the uh the same thing that you get on the old retro cards with just sort of a, the pictures of the of the figures then a whole bunch of legalese i wish the pictures were bigger uh but i get that they got to put all that legalese on there it, what's weird to me is that you get all that legalese on the, the on the the card back, but then you still get you know this little thing inside. I don't know why they can't just print all of this stuff on that thing and just put it in there. Um, but I think for legal reasons they can't. I mean that's the only. It's legalese that for legal reasons they must have. So anyway, Pat Blue came in uh, in a wave with, you know, Bib Fortuna, the Emperor. Stormtrooper and Chewbacca. Uh, Wicket there is very adorable little Wicket. How could you not like Wicket? I mean, even if you don't like Ewoks, Wicket is adorable. Um, he is in a wave with a Boba Fett, a Lando and Skiff Guard outfit, uh, the Endor Han, the Endor Princess Leia, 
as well as a biker scout. I thought there was, I thought, I thought Luke was in this wave too, but I could be wrong. I already have Luke from the, from the standard line, but anyway, regardless, there they are. Um, I don't know which one to open first. I'm more excited about Wicket. Uh, Pat Blue, I know who Pat Blue, you know, I know him by name, but I don't, I, I mean, Wicket is the Ewok. And then all the others, you know, Tebow, Low Gray, Paplu, are all just kind of around. Uh, Wicket to me is is the star of the show. Um, so do I open him second or do I open him first? I'm gonna open Paplu first, I think. And just when I say that, everything's plastic collectibles. Ryu <laughs> says Wicket. All right, I will open Wake It first by popular demand of one person. Um, because why not? I'm going to open both of them, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, Wicked, it, I'm going to keep the card. And so I, I actually pre-cut the bubble. Um, if you've seen me cut a bubble, it's, I use a big giant knife. And uh, it takes time. Because I like to get a nice clean cut on the card if I'm going to keep it. Uh, but there's the card. It's a really big bubble for Wicket, and Wicket is a tiny figure. I think it's kind of ironic that the bubble for Wicket is is about an inch and a half taller than the bubble for Paplu, but whatever. Uh, that's neither here nor there. That's just the packaging. Who cares? All right. Uh, so for these guys, yeah, like I said, I keep the card backs, but I don't actually keep the uh, plastic as I do with a lot of other stuff. So I have no problem just getting right into it. Oh, he's getting a door. I didn't even notice this. There's a tiny little arrow in here. All right. Tiny little arrow out. A tiny little wicket out. It's okay. So at first impression, like the, the, the first thing I think about this is like, it's hard to believe that this is a six inch scaled figure because it's very, very small. Like this is shorter than a, than a vintage GI Joe. Um, he's, he's very small. He's probably about three inches tall. Uh, but I love it. I love it. This is awesome. Uh, I, I've sort of seen the reviews. I know about the articulation. So we've got articulation at the hip and at the ankle, nothing in the knee. His, his leg is less, is probably less than an inch. How, there's no way you were going to get all that stuff in there. There's a ball joint up top. There's a hinge down here which leaves, I don't know, a, a, an eighth of an inch that you could realistically work in and put a knee in. I, you just couldn't do it. I just don't think it's possible. Uh, but for what I need Wicket to do, um, I, I don't care. Uh, I need him to hold his little spear, maybe point it at somebody. That's about it. He's got these tiny little hands. He does have elbow articulation. Uh, he's got as much articulation in the arm as, as any other Black Series figure, so I guess that's that's something. Uh, his little hood is is a little bit softer rubber, uh, so it is sort of pliable. It kind of moves around a little bit. It is removable, uh, and I will I will take it off because they do look. I have seen somebody take it off, and it looks kind of funny. Let me see if I can get it off or not. So unmasked. I, for some reason, I don't think that's what they look like, but I mean, I guess, I don't know if that's down to sculpting or if that's what he would actually look like without the, the hood on, uh, but he has decent articulation in the head and in the neck. Uh, the problem is once you put that hood on, it, it doesn't really matter because it's not moving around quite as much. But it's still, I mean, there's articulation in the uh in the torso so he does you know he does move around very well uh head wise you can get him you know when it, when he first meets leia you know you can get that little kind of head tilt that little kind of dog thing you know when you when you make a noise and a dog turns his head well you can definitely do that so anyway there's wicked i'm gonna actually get paplu out i realize if i get paplu out i can i can tighten up this shot and then, uh, and then I'll take a closer look at them both. Because look at how tiny he is. 
once you're out of the once once you get out of this you know 10 inch tall package you get the three inch figure down there all right so i'm gonna get this guy out of the package uh now i'm gonna get this guy out of the package the way i used to get action figures out of the package when i was a child which is any which way I can. To be honest, that's about as effective as it is with a knife and it's way faster. So, Pop Lou only comes with uh, his little his little staff, his little spear, uh, his little two-pronged thing, but it is painted quite nicely. Pop Lou, obviously a bigger figure. Um, you know, he's got the hood as well. I assume he's got sort of the same thing going on underneath the hood. He does have the same articulation in the arms, but he does get knee articulation, uh, which, you know, does kind of break up the sculpting a little bit, but there's sculpting sort of everywhere around it. Uh, you don't really notice it too much. Even, uh, and you don't get a ton of articulation in the knee like it just goes almost to 90 not quite uh and i don't know if you're going to be able to see this but they've even to some extent sculpted a little bit of fur like into the to the knee joint piece um not so much the ankle one but the knee one for sure there is uh there is some sculpting within the joint piece which is pretty impressive i mean there there's there's some things that black series doesn't do well uh but if you want a, you know a non sh figure arts price point ewok uh this is a pretty good one they're both pretty good uh he's got his little feather on the top there which is molded quite well the painting on here is okay uh there's there's kind of shading to the fur on the front and this is true of wicket as well but much less of it on the back uh by that i mean like none on the back but there is some on the front uh he's got his little belt like i said with a knife in this little sheath i wish it was a little bit bigger and they could have pulled a page out of like the classified notebook and, and made that removable um but uh like i said uh i don't need that I don't need that at all. These are awesome. I'm very, very happy with these uh, as is. Uh, let me type. Whoop. Been a long day for Papaloo. He's. Uh... All right. But these guys are pretty small. Let me tighten this shot up. Hopefully, I can do it relatively quickly. That's about one of the best ones yet, as far as doing it quickly and effectively. Uh, all right, so let's take a quicker, another quick look at these guys. So very, very small. As I said, this guy, if I had to guess, probably say about three inches. This guy's quite a bit taller, um, probably closer to about four inches tall, which uh, scales them, I think, pretty well for like, source material i don't know i genuinely don't i like i love the ewoks but i genuinely have no idea how tall they're supposed to be uh as i mentioned you know pat blue comes with the the little spear uh they have sort of fur halfway down which is is got a little bit of deco on it there's a little bit of the same paint that sort of matches what they've done as far as shading on the ewoks themselves um then there's Wicket's gear. Uh, so he gets two clubs, a wooden one and sort of a leather wrapped one. He gets a bow and a teeny tiny little arrow, which I presume will fit in here. Okay. Uh, and they've even done like, they haven't notched it, but 
like the arrow. The arrow, I don't think it's gonna. The arrow is is got a little bit of a notch to it, so it actually does sit on the on the bowstring. It's, it's weird. I don't know. Like I don't know what the point of that is because the bowstring is just plastic as well, but it's soft plastic, so you can well it doesn't shoot. I don't know. It's cool. They tried. I get it. Really, Wicket needs this. Wicket needs this little spear. Uh, you know, the one that he pokes Leia with. And, uh, you know, that's what people know Wicket for is his little spear. And I need to heat them up, and I don't want to break them. They're tiny little joints. So let me see if I could just put it in his hand. Eh, that'll do for now. Wicket with his little spear. Oh, my gosh. This is like equal parts an awesome little action figure and super adorable. Uh, by comparison, like I said, I think he's pretty accurate source material wise. Uh, so I will bring in a couple Endor figures that I've got. So I've got Endor Luke as well as Leia in the, uh, the outfit that I mentioned before. Somebody wore that before her. We don't know who. We don't know what their fate was. Uh, but I think scale-wise, maybe it's more appropriate to put her over here because they meet first. Um, scale-wise, like I said, I think this works pretty well. Um, you know, they scale a little bit smaller, Black Series do, than, uh, than um, a lot of other six-inch lines. Um but then again, you know, they're, they're, they're Ewoks. They're, they're not human in scale. Uh, so let's see what else they scale with. Shall we? Uh, the first thing I thought of was checking them out next to a Fuzzmonk, the Mythic Legion's Thistlethorn. Uh, which in in a weird way like feels a little bit Ewok ish, um, and then a standard 1.0 Mythic Legions figure is Zylernian Guard. I think this still scales fine. Like I was thinking about this, and because I don't collect that much Black Series, these guys may end up on my Mythic shelf um, just because. And I think they fit aesthetically, you know, because they're not human and they they don't have to kind of match. Um, the the facial uh sort of style that mythic legions does i think these guys work uh so we will see they may end up like i said on my mythic legion shelf uh alternatively and this should come as <laughs> absolutely no surprise to anybody uh next to a an a walk figure uh again they they look just fine they're a little bit small. Uh, stylistically, maybe doesn't quite line up. Uh, but, you know, I was trying to think of how they could fit into to AWOC. Um, and I couldn't really come up with anything. Uh, but they're, they're, you know, they're there. And, uh, and, you know, I just wanted to get an AWOC figure in there. But, yeah, I think, I think you know, if you're, if you're doing... If you're doing Black Series stuff, I think they scale really, really well. I put these down, and now I'm going to have to repose their feet. Because uh, for whatever reason, these guys don't like to stand up on their own. Uh, but, yeah, there they are. Uh, man, that was a really, really quick video. I'm only 20 minutes in. What do you guys want to talk about? I'll hang out for a few more minutes here. Uh, I just really wanted to get these guys unboxed. And... Uh, yeah, now what I realized is I want to heat them up and pose them up and play with them because they are great, great little action figures. Um, I I don't really have any complaints at all. I don't think there's anything about these figures that I think they could have done better, that they could have done differently. Um, as, as far as like what I expect from Black Series, right? Uh, you could say, oh, they could have had even better articulation or they could have had different, you know, there could have been, you know, more weathering to the, to the, to their, uh, cowl things or whatever their hoods or, um, 
but it, it's what I expect, right? There's no weathering on this at all. Uh, so I didn't really expect there to be weathering on, on, on the Ewoks themselves. But uh, anyway, let's jump into the chat, see if there were any questions or anything like that. I, like I said, I'm just, I'm, it's, it's, it's been a week. It's been a week. And uh, I'm out of practice on this. I haven't done it in a while. So uh, Nolan said, Hasbro do Agnesa yet? No, uh, not in not in the Black Series. They did. Uh, there is a Wicket and Nisa two pack in the Vintage Collection, uh, which I don't collect. So I didn't order it. Uh, I was extremely tempted to order it, but I, honestly, I don't know what I would do with it. And I would probably just end up leaving it in the box. Uh, so I, I, I just couldn't justify, just couldn't justify that one. But, uh, Alberto is here. What's going on, Alberto? Uh, Wick. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a great figure, man. Uh, Jeff Morris is here. What's going on? Alberto says that is some decent articulation, uh, I guess, relative or compared to previous releases for an Ewok, and by that I mean Power of the Force in the 90s. Yeah, those were five POA, uh, so this is way, way better. Uh, Jeff Morris, I like Black Series. They're not perfect, but the new figures do usually look nice. They do a pretty good job with them. I, I agree. I mean, I don't collect Black Series, but when there's certain figures or certain characters or whatever, I'll pick them up. Um, I've been doing the Mandalorian stuff. Um, and that's about it. And then I do versions of Luke Skywalker. So when they do sort of a new version of Luke Skywalker, I typically pick those up. Uh, and then Endor, my, the new, my, my sort of newest, uh, extension of Black Series is Endor. So that was largely because they announced the Ewoks. Uh, so I picked Leia up in anticipation of that. Um, and I'll, I'll probably round out the Endor uh, team um, sooner rather than later. But we'll see. Nolan said they, they look as if they scale pretty well. Yeah, they, they I would say they do. And, and I would say that uh, they're, they're you know, given that most people are probably not like a hundred percent sure of how tall Wicket is, um, they probably could have gone one way or the other, and people wouldn't have really known. I mean, he's smaller than a human, which is what we need from an Ewok. He's also one of the smaller Ewoks, so you know, he's smaller than Paplu. I think Tebow is about the same size as Paplu. Uh, if anybody has a Tebow that they want to get rid of, let me know. I passed on him initially, and now I want one. I'm hoping they re-release it, but we'll see. And then if they do any more Ewoks, I'll definitely be picking those up as well. Uh, Alberto says this is adorable. They really are, man. And I, I am sort of unapologetic when I say that I definitely have picked action figures up before because they're adorable. Um, I mean, I, I buy whenever they do more bluey characters, I buy those because they, they just they're cute little characters and the action figures are pretty fun the cartoon's awesome uh yay thistlethorn he's the best man he is the best mythic legions character if they do an animated ewok line they the, they would work with a walk oh that's true that's a good shout and they did like i said they did the um they did the wicket and nisa but they did it in vintage collection Oh, you're right, though. They did a six-inch scaled animated Ewoks, which is a show that I watched this week. <laughs> I would definitely pick those up as well. Allison Troy is here. What's going on, Allison? Um, Allison Troy says, late to the show, but that's one of the best Leia face sculpts we've gotten for the entire length of the Black series. It really is. It's, it's definitely one of the more accurate for sure um and there are some that are definitely not accurate uh this camera is certainly not doing it any justice it's not nearly as shiny in real life as it kind of comes across on camera uh there's it's it's a really good sculpt it is a very good sculpt not that i know carrie fisher that well but it, it looks like her at least in the movies 
Um, Master Versal Toy Hunter says he has the Vintage Collection Wicket and Low Gray. Uh, vintage Collection, I just can't do. They're just too small, and I just don't. I, you know, I'm I'm sort of invested in the six inch scale, so. Uh, but yeah, Eldor also says he he he's done most of the Black Series Mando figures and a few of the Galactic Civil War characters. Allison Troy, nearly fifty years later, I'm still waiting for a reasonable face sculpt of a New Hope Leia. Well, I mean, fifty years isn't that far off. Maybe maybe they'll still be doing Black Series. For the 50th anniversary, they could do, uh, they could do the set. Who knows? Maybe. Uh, Nolan says, "Spooky, how good that sculpt is." Yeah, it's weird. I hadn't looked that closely at it. Um, and the weird thing. I'm sorry, I was looking at it off camera. And what's weird about it is that it doesn't translate on camera. Like it looks much younger like it looks like somebody else and i can't put my finger on who it looks like on the camera uh but in real life it looks really really good like it's 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 bang on um there's something something just a little bit off there's a bit of an uncanny valley thing where it's like you can definitely tell it's not her i mean obviously not it's a six inch scaled action figure uh but it, there, there's something that's just a bit off. Uh, but it, it, it's like it's a 98 out of 100 kind of thing. Really, really good sculpt. Really underrated figure, this one, I think. I think this is a really good uh, sort of representation of, of, you know, Leia in the Ewok village. In my humble opinion. She doesn't stand up very well, but anyway. Uh, looks like a younger version of Carrie. Yeah, maybe that's what it is. Like, maybe it's like she's a little too young for Return of the Jedi, but like too old for, for you know, like New Hope. Like it's maybe somewhere in the Empire kind of, maybe that's what it is. I don't know. Uh, Allison Troy might be able to help. I wonder if they used any of the tech they used to incl include her younger self in the rise of Skywalker. Oh, that's a, that's a good call. Like I, you mean in this, in this sculpt, like maybe they use some of the de-aging, uh, to, and maybe they're, maybe they're sort of, maybe they turned the dial too far. <laughs> yeah, I could totally see that. Uh, Jeff Morris, I have the latest archive wave, a new Hope Leia, and she is not too bad. I think they redid her face scan. Again, not perfect, but I think it is decent. Uh, yes, that one is pretty good. Uh, I would say that that one, I don't have that one uh, in my collection uh, because a new Hope is not within the parameters of my collection rules for Black Series. <sighs> But I'd be lying if I said I didn't want like the Yavin ceremony scene. If I could get all of them and then build a dial for that, I, I don't know. We'll see. That'll be the next rabbit hole that I go down a little bit. Uh, yeah, they de-aged and grafted it onto her daughter. Yeah, and that's kind of what this feels like. Like it, this kind of feels like, um what they did with her in Rise of Skywalker. So I wonder if that's where this face sculpt comes from. Because that's definitely it. There's definitely like an, an like a, you know, I said it's a 98. I, there's like 2% her daughter. <laughs> it's like, I don't know, it's weird. Do you, does that make sense to anybody that has this? But yeah, definitely, it definitely has a bit of a thing going on where it's not quite Carrie Fisher. But anyway. But that being said, I mean, look, that's not at all Mark Hamill. So that's way better than that's a way better Carrie Fisher than this is Mark Hamill. Um, I almost called him Luke Hamill because he's he's Luke Skywalker. He doesn't want to stand up today either. What's going on, you guys? You're making me look bad. Anyways. 
All right, guys, that's all I've got. Um, I just wanted to do a very quick unboxing of these Ewoks, uh, and then it sort of turned into, <laughs> turned into like, how good is the face sculpt on other figures? Um, Allison Troy says, yeah, she's right here in front of me alongside the Endor Poncho Leia. They have the same sculpt for both. Oh, that makes sense, actually, because when I was looking at this, I noticed, too, that the hair piece is, like, glued on. Uh, like, there's... You can see that it's not attached. You can see her ears in there. Uh, so it's 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 clear that they that they that, you know this head sculpt is is being used for a few different figures. Um, I hadn't compared them that closely, but I probably will after this. Oh, just stand up. There we go. Nola says, yeah, that could be a can. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly it. Um, anyways, as I said, uh, just doing a quick video today. I didn't want to go too, too deep. Um, I've got more stuff to unbox. Some of it I'm going to do on video. Some of it I'm just going to, I'm going to actually just take some time and unbox some things not in front of a camera or I'm toying with the idea, pun intended, of uh of pre-recording some uh and then sort of posting them in the open late you know time slot um and it, you know posting them on on wednesday evenings without having to uh to be sitting here on wednesday evenings doing the videos uh but we shall see uh i've got I've got some some Ninja Turtles to open, some Super Seven, the worst figures. I've got some GI Joes to open. I got a whole bunch of stuff, uh, and then I'm gonna have you know Wave Two of AWOC stuff coming. Uh, so I'm gonna have to figure out what I'm gonna do unboxings for and what I'm not gonna do unboxings for. Um, but uh, thank you guys very very much for hanging out with me while I do this. Um, Shout out to uh, eCollectibles.ca, which is where I got all these figures from. Uh, they are awesome, and they're my go-to for basically all my toys. Anything that you see me unbox, I probably bought it from eCollectibles.ca. Uh, so go check them out. Pick up some cool stuff. It is always more fun unboxing toys with friends, so I appreciate you guys hanging out with me tonight. Uh, stay tuned the channel on Sunday. Brick is going to be joining me. We're going to be doing a, another AWOC talk video. It is a monkey business episode three. We are going to, we're, we're going to open it up to, to the viewers. What do you guys want to talk about in regards to Animal Warriors of the Kingdom? Um, and if anybody has any questions for us, we will do our best to answer them with our uh, knowledge of Animal Warriors of the Kingdom. Um, or lack thereof, we're probably going to have somebody, uh, probably going to have somebody that's going to be like, Hey, what about this? And we're going to be like, I have no idea. So stay tuned for that. Um, where's the bud? There it is. Thanks everybody. Have a great night till next time.